This video is for anyone who signed up for WP Engine Managed WordPress Hosting, and we're going to show you how to set up your domain with Cloudflare. Yep, so the first thing we need to do is head to WP Engine's dashboard to get the information that we need. So to do that, I'm going to open a new tab in my browser, which is Command-T on a Mac or Control-T on a PC. And that's going to let me stay on the Cloudflare website over here with step two. Now I'm going to go to Google and type in WP Engine to go to their website. And scroll down, you might see user portal here, my.wpengine.com. Click on that. That's exactly where we want to go. Alternatively, you can just come up to the address bar and type in my.wpengine.com. Moving your site, we make it easy. We don't need to do that because we don't have a site yet. Say, so don't show me this again. Now we have our install, which we created, which is blog winning. Click the down arrow on the right hand side of blog winning and choose domains. That's going to bring us to the domains page. So before we go ahead and set anything up in Cloudflare, we're going to add the domain name that we registered in Google domains to the WP engine dashboard here. So under domains and redirects, click the blue add domain button. And we're going to enter the domain name that we registered on Google domains, which is blogchampions.com and click add domain. So it says failed check. We had trouble checking this domain. We'll check it again soon. This makes sense because we haven't set up Cloudflare yet. So now that we've added the domain name to the WP Engine dashboard, we're going to go ahead and set this as the primary domain because we want blogchampions.com, which is the domain we registered in Google domains, to be our primary domain. So click set as primary on the right hand side of the domain you just added. Next, we want to link these two domains, the staging website, which is blogwinning.wpengine.com and blogchampions.com. So on the right side of blogwinning.wpengine.com, click Add Redirect. And we're going to say, OK, we want this domain name to redirect to our main website. And that's correct. So we're just going to say Save Changes. So now that we've set up the Domains and Redirect section, we're going to go ahead and do the Cloudflare setup, which is what we see at the top of the screen. So first, we're going to do the CNAME record. I'm just going to copy and paste this. You can also use your keyboard and just type it in. I'm going to head back to the Cloudflare tab. And then this needs to be a C name. So make sure instead of A here, you click on the A and select C name. So where it says name, we're going to paste in what I copied on the last screen, which is uh, Command V on a Mac, Control V on a PC. And then where it says domain name, we're going to type in an at sign. And the at sign is simply a shortcut that is going to bring it to blogchampions.com. Then click Add Record. Next, we're going to go back to WP Engine, and we're going to take care of the A record. I'm going to copy and paste this one, just like the other one. Head back to Cloudflare. So now where it says CNAME, this is going to be an A record. So click on CNAME and select A. And in the name section, what you're going to do is type the at sign again because that's a shortcut to blogchampions.com. And then click in the second box where it says IPv4 address. I'm going to click in that and I'm going to paste in the number from the previous page. And I'm going to click Add Record. So make sure you click Add Record after you add both DNS records. And you see them both down here. So now we should be all set up. We're just going to click the green Continue button. And we're going to select a plan. Now. If it's business website that you see is selected, just select free website. I host my website, payitforward.com, on a free plan with Cloudflare. I think they're amazing. They do great work. It's a wonderful product. And they don't even give me a kickback for saying that. I just love Cloudflare. So choose free website and then click the green continue button. Now it's going to have us change the name servers. This is where we're going to have to go back to Google domains and update the name servers there. So what I'm going to do is open another tab by pressing Command-T on a Mac, Control-T on a PC. And I'm going to search Google for Google Domains. Now I'm going to click on the Google Domains link. Now you can also just type in domains.google 
Uh, Google is so big that they were able to register their own top level domain, which is a .google, just like a .com. Now that we're on the Google domain site, we're going to click the green Manage My Domains button in the upper right hand corner. Now we're already logged in with our Gmail account, so the domain that we registered is already showing up on the left hand side. If you don't see the domain that you registered in the Google Domain step, that's totally okay. All you need to do is go to the upper right hand corner and click Sign In. And then after you sign in, you'll come back to this page. So to update the name servers, which is what Cloudflare needs us to do, we need to click on DNS. And name servers is the only section of this page that we need to worry about. By default, it says use the Google Domains name servers. We're going to click on use custom name servers instead. Now we're going to head back to Cloudflare and copy and paste the name servers from there and stick them in here. First, I'm going to copy amanda.ns.cloudflare.com. And once again, you can just type these in if you want to. I just find it easier to copy and paste. Head back to Google Domains. I'm going to paste it in the name server section. It's not abundantly clear what to do next or how to add a second name server. It wasn't to me at first anyway. Click the plus button on the right hand side of this name server box and you'll get another name server box. And that's where we need to go back to Cloudflare and enter the second name server that they recommend, which is isaac.ns.cloudflare.com. Head back to Google Domains, paste it in, and click Save. All right, so now we're all set in Google Domains. We're back in Cloudflare. When we unselected the Google name servers, all of these disappeared. So we don't need to worry about removing any others. Next, click Continue, and we're all set. The way DNS works, or the way Cloudflare works with the internet is that it takes about an hour or so for records to change once you update them. And the reason is that when a record changes in Cloudflare or on Google Domains or anywhere, it has to be distributed all over the world to a number of different places so that people all over the world can get to your website. So it's going to take about an hour for all this to update. And we're going to speed through that process as we wait for that to happen. And then we're going to head back to WP Engine's dashboard and we can see that everything's hooked up correctly.